Hey everyone, it's Jessica here with another layout for the Bramble Fox Design Team. Today I'm using Paper Snips 55 and 60, and I think I actually am grabbing one of the summer ones as well, and a whole bunch of acrylics from the shop. So I'm using this with day 25, I believe it was, from this sketch from 30 Days of Sketches by Brandy Jo, and um, her Instagram handle is at the bottom of that sketch if you're interested in following her. And I am sticking with this dark background. I haven't done a dark background in a while, and I it was literally everything in me to try not to switch this over to white, but I love a dark background. I really, truly do, but my photos were just so, so colorful that I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to make this work uh, with that dark background, but in the end, it does work out. I've grabbed some Vicki Booten Where To Next collection because it's super bright and colorful to match my photos. And I'm gonna switch this sketch up a little bit. I'm still gonna use four photos like Brandy had in her sketch, but instead of doing the chevrons on the top and bottom, I am using paper strips that are stripey on the top and bottom of my layout. Just a little hint of color to match the beautiful colors of my photos. We um, have a local amusement park close to us here. It's about 45 minutes from us, and we typically visit there quite a bit in the summer. So I've got pictures of myself, my husband, my baby girl, and both my boys on this layout, which is very rare that I get us all on a layout, but I have four photos here. I'm matting them with some smooth white cardstock first, and then I'm using one of the pattern papers in this collection to mat them all together and just roughing up the edges with my fingernails. Now I'm gonna be grabbing various acrylic pieces from the shop. Um, they're ones that have been in my stash for a little while. So I looked in the shop, they are unfortunately not in there right now that I could see, but I'm just going to be doing some stash busting and there's a lot of things in the shop still left that are absolutely amazing. So lots of good products right now, but the paper snips are still in the shop, I do believe. And I will link everything down below that I can link that I have used today. So I'm grabbing a few of these tags. I'm gonna do some tags on the sides of my photos versus Brandy's sketch of kind of like little banner pieces on the side. So I've decided to use tags instead. So I've cut a few of these off to use on all four of my photos there just peeking out and then I'm going to grab some thread here towards the end and thread through all of these so I um, tuck those in and I'm grabbing some other paper scraps from this collection that I have left over from other layouts along with the border dies from the shop these are still in the shop both sets are I just checked and they're both still there I'm using a couple of these dies from each set so I'm just going to cut a couple scraps into these border dies here using my Big Shot machine, and then I'm going to tuck these into my layout as well. I'm going to throw a bunch of embellishments on here, and I'm going to add some more things and probably grab some white for some splatters too, because I feel like that white splatter will show up really, really nicely on top of that black background paper. So I've grabbed my border dies that I just ran through. I did some little tickets here that I thought I was going to tuck down there on the bottom. Um, we'll see if it actually stays there or not. I've got my title acrylic piece here that I just love and it's perfect for this layout. It just says excited to be here and it was, it was exciting. We always have a good time at that park. So we really, really enjoy it there. I've got these border pieces. I'm just going to go ahead and start tucking into my layout. I originally thought I was going to put them on the top and bottom, but I ended up switching them and and moving them to the sides instead. So I'm just matting this other piece of paper behind my photo because I really, really liked that pink and how that like popped around my photos and with my corally pink color that my baby girl was wearing. And then I've got my border strips here that I'm going to tuck in on uh, the sides instead. So I wanted to go ahead and adhere these strips down to my layout. I ended up trimming the bottom one down. It was a little bit too big, so I just overhung it. And then I'm going to pull it off my desk here in a moment and actually trim that down to 12 by 12 again. And here's my little border strips. I'm just measuring them out, seeing how big I need them to be and just ripping off the excess. And then just using some Nuvo glue to actually adhere that down to my photos at first, because I know that I'm gonna pull this off and trim that bottom border strip down here in a second. So I wanted to get that stuck down to where I wanted it to be on my photos. And there's the other one. I just used a little piece of it. There, I went ahead and cut that down on the bottom and I'm just punching the holes out of my tag so I can actually thread something through there to finish those off here in a bit. And I'm just roughing up the edges just with my fingernails again, just to give that a little bit more texture. 
Usually I use my edge dress dresser for that stuff, but lately I've been using my fingernails and I really, really like the look that it gives and just that little added texture. So I'm just tucking these in. I'm gonna use my T-square ruler to just line these up and make sure they're all straight. So I'm gonna end up grabbing some white splatters here in a second by Shimmers Paints called the Whites of Their Eyes. And I'm just going to pull my photo off here and do that splattering. That way I don't get anything on my actual photos. So before I stick those down, I'll do the splatters, but I just wanted to make sure all these tags were on here and where I wanted them to be. And um, I did put my adhesive on my photos, but then I'm like, oh, I should probably do that splattering first. So I went ahead and did that just by flicking that on with the topper of the bottle. And I just made sure I put the lid back on because I don't want to spill that on anything and make a huge mess. And then I went ahead and stuck my photo down onto my page. And then here I'm just having a play with where I want to put that acrylic piece. I wanted the title to be somewhere at the bottom, but wasn't quite sure where I wanted it to go. So I went ahead and put it there and I'll glue that down here in a moment. And I'm just going to see what else I can grab and use on this layout. This collection is very, very colorful, so it's perfect for these photos. Um, but I just am roughing these edges of this up first before I add anything else at this point. And yeah, then I'll go ahead and grab some more stuff and get everything added on here. Um, just a reminder, the acrylic pieces do come with a backing usually on them, so make sure you peel that backing off before you go ahead and stick them down to your pages because they do tend to stick a lot better whenever that backing's not on there. I've grabbed a whole bunch of acrylic pieces from my stash here and then a whole bunch of paper snips as well. So I've got various collections of both. And I'm just kind of going to pick and choose from all of these little bits and pieces and start adding a whole bunch to my layout. I just love all these little trinkets, as my husband calls them, and little pieces to add to my layouts. And I just love adding more stuff to all my layouts and just little clusters and fun things. It just makes me happy. So I've grabbed this little topper here that's from one of the school sets. I think it was called um, like Smarty Pants or something like that or... Um, smarty tabs or something like that I don't know but it's not in the shop anymore I couldn't find that so it's really cleaned out right now and I'm just kind of stash busting a whole bunch of my stuff so I have all these paper snips those are all still in the shop so you can grab those if you're interested in those I am just cutting out a few of them off of this sheet to use on my layouts I'm gonna grab the arrow that says adventure on one of these as well because it's just perfect for this layout and then I'm going to pop some of these up with some 3d foam squares by Gina K and um, I'm just gonna keep adding stuff to this so I'm just kind of filling in some empty space here and just adding a couple things to my photos to make them pop and I love these little cameras that came in that summer set along with the little ferris wheel that was just perfect for this layout so I've added that at the top left there and I'm gonna go ahead and start sticking all of this down here in a moment with some Nouveau deluxe liquid adhesive which dries super clear so it's a nice adhesive to use with this and then I will thread some thread through my little yeah. tags here and get those finished up and I've got my white splatters already done. I'm just looking through the sticker book here by Vicki Booten in that Where To Next collection to see what else I want to pull off of there and possibly add onto my layout. And um, I guess this is a good time to just let you guys know, this was going to be my last layout for Bramble Fox. So I am done at the end of this month with them. I have really, really enjoyed my time with Bramble Fox and the girls on the team are amazing. And I'm so super thankful for this opportunity to be part of the team. And I'm sure I'll be back at some point, but I am switching over to another design team um, that's a little bit easier for me at the moment moment and just with my lifestyle and everything I need to kind of make some cutbacks right now it's summer we're super super busy so um, I need to just um just kind of make some things easier on my life right now but I have super super enjoyed my time here with Bramble Fox but this will be my last layout for right now anyways for this month so Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for supporting me in my crafty journey as usual. And just thank you for everything. All your sweet comments really keep me going. And I just love reading each and every one of them. So you are so, so appreciated. And I absolutely love designing for Bramble Fox and will probably be back someday. So I'm sure they're not rid of me just yet. 
So here's that thread that I was telling you about. I'm gonna go ahead and thread all of that through all of these tags and these little bits and pieces, just kind of looping it around as I go. I'm gonna actually adhere some of these points down with some Nuvo glue, because I know that's gonna dry clear and you won't see it, but it'll be enough to just anchor some of that thread down so it's not moving around in my books or anything. And that's gonna finish that part off. And this one's almost done. I'm just gonna finish sticking everything down at this point. here is the finished layout i hope you guys enjoyed this process today and this layout and if you want to follow this sketch you can do that in the 30 days of sketches group so thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day bye bye